Lake Titicaca is one of the largest lakes on our planet. In fact, it is so huge that it can be seen from space. The lake has a surface area of 8,372 square kilometers. It is 190 kilometers long and up to 80 kilometers wide. Being located at an altitude of 3,812 meters, Lake Titicaca is one of the highest diving spots in the world. Diving here means to dive at the limits of theoretical dive tables in your computer. The first time I dived in 1999 in Lake Titicaca, together with my wife Nina Pardo. Our goal was to find the holy Kaira frog of the Lake Titicaca, an endemic and highly threatened species. In this trip we managed to take some of the first pictures of the Kaira frog in its natural habitat. This video tells the story of my second trip to Lake Titicaca, being accompanied by the nature photographer Dos Winkel and cameraman Hendrik Wuitz. Our goal was to get more and better shots of the frogs. Our trip started in Lima, from where we had to transport our diving equipment on a two-day road trip all the way up to Lake Titicaca. Arriving in Puno, we continued our way to the small community of Yachong. People here do actively preserve their traditional lifestyle and beliefs. El lago es mágico, místico, porque guarda eh, en sus aguas uh, muchas uh, leyendas. Asimismo ha hecho muchos milagros. Muchas personas han muerto también en este lago por accidentes. Seguro han sido pecadores o será por destino. Y de igual forma en este lago siempre se hace un pago. Uh, cuando se construye una nueva embarcación, un bote de madera, una balsa de totora y se hace su pago a la Cochamama. Cochamama quiere decir lago madre. Lago madre porque ella nos da su agua cristalina, nos da sus peces, su rana, su planta, lo que es el yacho. Entonces ese es nuestro lago Titicaja. So, of course, the people of Yachon urged us to make an offering to Mama Kocha and pay her our respect. Taking into account that there was no pressure chamber around, this may have been our best safety procedure. Sadly, our offering did not help us much to find a frog, so we decided to try our luck in another dive spot and set sail for Taquila Island the next morning. work here in this altitude. Yeah. Absolutely. So this actually is a spot where nobody has ever been diving before. No, nobody has been diving. Okay, so we don't know what to expect. Well, from the from what we can see, there must be big rocks and plants in yeah. between. Okay. Do you have any idea how deep you want to go? 
Well, we are here in 3,800 meters yeah. of altitude. Yeah. If we would go 25 meters deep, that would be like 40 meters in the ocean. We don't do that. No. Okay. We don't make any decompression dives. We stay in zero time. We okay. have computers that work at an altitude. Right. And we'll go down to f between 10 and 15 meters and then slowly uh, work our way to up the, to the coast so yeah. that we automatically decompress slowly. Wow, okay. This time we got lucky and found a great number of small, strange-looking frogs. But we wanted to find a real big frog. So we gave it another try at the island of Swasi. And here it was, the strangest looking frog on earth, one that only lives in Lake Titicaca. As the water in this lake lacks oxygen and the frogs do breathe through their skin, it is of advantage to increase the skin surface, which makes this guy looking like wearing a poncho. Mission accomplished. Only a handful of scuba divers have ever been lived in Lake Titicaca. We had managed to make some of the few underwater video recordings of the Kaira frog in its natural habitat. And I got some great pictures. However, there is much more to do in order to protect this highly endangered species. Really nothing is known. No. We have very little literature about the frog, just anat uh, anatomy. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, we don't know nothing about distribution, habitat, reproduction, feeding behavior, nothing. Yeah. So if we don't have these bases, how can we protect them? 